Hey everyone, it is Theodore, and this is episode 46 of my Martha Level Challenge. And today was like a really interesting day because I had planned everything out, and I did my dish, and la di da And to be perfectly honest with you, it just was not what I wanted it to be. And it kind of made me realize that a lot of this experience, like I've talked to you all about like, oh my gosh, this was really great, or I did really well on this test, and whatever. And then other, other times it's like, oh, the test wasn't great, or the texture wasn't there, or I burnt my pastry, or whatever. And it kind of made me realize that such a massive part of this experience is getting it wrong to then get it right. And you have to like give yourself the space to do that because this isn't a cooking competition show. This isn't anything like that. It's school. And you're really there to learn the nuances of what is a really well cooked fish? What is a full flavored stock? What is a, you know, napon texture? And really just sort of getting that into what I call your hands. Um, I say that from being a hairstylist for so long. And the thing is, your knowledge is in your hands. It just is. And with, with food, I'm learning it's in your hands, it's in your palate, it's in your eye, it's in a lot of things. And today, um, Everything was kind of just off. Like my sauce wasn't the right texture slash flavor. It was close, but not there. My fish, I think that I just boiled it versus simmered it because I was in a hurry and like there was a lot going on. And then there was like a shrimp moment and I didn't devein the right part because I just was a little confused. So anyway, oh, hi Baxter. It just kind of all didn't really come together the way that it was supposed to, but I definitely know what I did with my fish that I can do better next time. I definitely decided, I actually had some extra stock and sauce to work with, and so I made, sorry, I'm getting a little nose itch. I made the sauce again and presented it to my chef instructor, Chef Sixto, and he really liked it. He was like, yes, this is what I was talking about. So the point is, is that like when you don't get it right, it is understanding how to get it right. That's learning. That's the magic of this. Like when we made omelets, we made so many omelets and we threw half of them away or composted half of them because at the end of the day, like it's that repetition and it's, it's trying and learning and really understanding like, no, this is what we mean when we say no color. This is what we mean when we say bavus or, or a luster, like all these different details about food. And so today was just a really good day. Like, honestly, I can't sit here and be sad that my dish didn't work out the way I wanted it to. That's silly. Um... If I didn't try hard, if I didn't prepare, if I wasn't focused, then there's a reason to sort of like be annoyed or irritated. But you know what? No, my fish was a little dry. I didn't do X, Y, and Z the way that I should have done them. But I have a really clear vision of how to recreate that dish again and have it be successful. So today was just a really interesting day of sort of like thinking about it that way. We also learned a lot about sous vide, which I love, love, love to cook sous vide. And I've um, been learning a lot about it. It's one of those things that just you have to be really open to and think about food in a completely different way. Let me know if you've ever sous vide at home or if you've had it at a restaurant. Let me know what you think of it. I'm really curious. And tomorrow I will be cooking the chicken dish, which I learned so much the first time I cooked this dish. It's the chicken grandmère style, which is grandmother style, which means anything that has like a little bacon in it. Not anything, but that's sort of one of the things. Anyway, so I'll be cooking that and I'll see what I can share with you about that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, that's right.